far north Queensland, beaches, island resorts, but it's also a tropical rainforest. Designing resorts for an environment like this takes a delicate touch. So what do guests do here? Well, to be honest, Richard, as little or as much as they like. We're in such a beautiful location that guests can either come and have a complete digital detox and immerse themselves in the rainforest or get out and about and do the many activities that this area has to offer. Guests can experience things like reef trips, uh, cultural tours, guided walks, bird watching, all sorts of activities. We've got the beautiful kingfisher that comes down at breakfast. We'll keep an ear out for the wampoo pigeon while we're... The, the wampoo? The wampoo pigeon. So Richard, this is one of our rainforest bayards. I feel like I'm immersed in the rainforest already. Absolutely, that's exactly how the rooms have been designed. Our rooms are completely screened, so guests can actually leave the doors completely open. Yeah, the cross ventilation, I, Absolutely. Can, I can feel it right now. It's... Yeah, so very rarely do guests ever need to put an air con on. It's all beautiful, natural ventilation. This is my favourite part of the room though, the beautiful bath on the balcony. So you can sit out here, have a nice cup of tea or a glass of wine, listen to the sounds of the birds and immerse yourself in the rainforest. Beautiful. And there's no TV? No TV and no Wi-Fi. No Wi-Fi? No, our rooms have been specifically designed to have a complete digital detox. Stay with me, Richard, don't worry. We have Wi-Fi down in our main lodge, so you can still stay connected. But while you're here in the canopy bay arms and enjoying your time in the rainforest, it is a real relax and reset. That's what we... <laughs> Can you hear that? Wampu. Sounds like a real person. It does. Before us with our local produce. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Welcome. Paul, I've read a lot of reviews about this place and a lot of it's about the food. Uh, yes, it is. We try to be as sustainable and use as much local produce as we possibly can here. That's one line caught cold trout. And that's one table lamb's lamb. Enjoy. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. So, Jodie, this is sustainably sourced? Absolutely. All of our produce within the kitchen is sourced locally and from sustainable farms or local line caught fish, like this coral trout. But our sustainability efforts don't stop within our restaurant. They also go through to the, the rooms and the rest of the property. So, within our accommodation, we've removed all single-use plastics. We provide guests with reusable water bottles so that they can take them out during the day when they're adventuring. Our goal is that we want this beautiful location and rainforest to be here for generations to come and experience and enjoy. We have guests that come here because sustainability is the heart of our ethos and then we have guests that come here because it's just an amazing environment. There's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely. Back when they designed these bands, the brief was less is more, less about making statements and more about the immersion in the rainforest and I think they've got it just right. So the art series hotels have a very specific intent. They choose an artist and that artist's work is very dominant in that hotel. This is a really good hotel that has a strong concept. Their approach to creating an art hotel has been really well thought and crafted throughout the space. What do you get when you cross a dynamic piece of engineering with a sensitive piece of architecture? Oh, and throwing one of Australia's most passionate leading artists with a little bit of mystery thrown in, you get a creative tale of truly Hollywood proportions. So we are the eighth art series property to open and based here at Brisbane's new entertainment and lifestyle precinct, Howard Smith Wharves. And being part of the art series, this is a real handshake between the landscape, mm -hmm. architecture and of course the art. That's right. And art series properties do exactly that. Mm -hmm. So taking inspiration from our namesake artist, Vincent Fantuzzo, every piece of work throughout the hotel is his. Now, Asha was heavily involved um, in the curation of the works. Uh, and I think if you were to ask her, where any piece was within the hotel, she would be able to tell you. It's very tricky when you display art not to confuse the art and the environment. Like a gallery generally has white walls, but in there they played with colour, they played with textures, but still managed to highlight the artwork. So uh, I was really pleased that we could work together in that way. I'm standing in front of 
the Heath Ledger portrait and you've also got it over your shoulder. Tell us about this incredible work of art, mate. This painting for me was a real game changer. I do portraits because I love to meet people and learn from them. Heath was such an inspiration and this incredible charisma. I've just been thinking recently about revisiting a project I did, 30 portraits in 30 days of New Yorkers, so one portrait a day. They're up on, I think it's level six. I'm heading there now. The idea we had was getting to know the city and the people through portraiture. So I have an excuse to kind of stalk New York. Behind every painting is a story. So Vince, this hallway is incredible. Where do you suggest I head to next? I think we should go to one of the cliff drop rooms. Sure, I know. Let's have a look. It's a real surprise, and when it rains, it's like a waterfall going down there. So it's really incredible. If you come and stay here, you often sit here with a, with a watercolour? Yeah, I actually do. In each room, there's a little painting kit. Don't get me started. <laughs> When I'm staying in a room, I do do a little paint and I leave it in the room and I just think, oh, I wonder if I know it was mine or not. Well, I'm having a look, mate, and I hope you've signed it. <laughs> I'm heading into your namesake suite. This room consists of a lot of my favourite artworks. I think Baz Luhrmann's up there on the wall. Baz is looking at, look at me over the bed. Someone posted a picture of them in their underwear jumping on the bed. So I sent it to Baz and he's like, I did not approve this. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have to go and find art in a gallery. You know, you should be able to experience art even if you're not in the art world. So I hope that the hotel and the paintings inspire people to be creative. Yeah, a designer destination to be proud of, mate. Well done.